Hello, my name is Sayan, and today I'll be talking about air traffic control with phases of flight. Usually the first step for any flight is the pre-flight, when the plane is on the ground. Usually during this time, a pilot or the crew will receive a weather forecast for their requested route of flight. If the weather is good enough to fly in, whether that be you know, VFR or IFR, they'll receive a flight route clearance from the local air traffic control tower. And after taxiing, the next step of the kite would be for takeoff. During this time, this is when the local air traffic control would give that takeoff clearance. Usually this clearance is to a few thousand feet, depends on the airport, depends on the tower. Most of the time it will be to 10,000 feet. After that plane reaches 10,000 feet, they're transferred to the departure frequency, most likely known as the TRACON. The TRACON will be the one to vector them to their cruising altitude and in route um, heading in altitude. Like I said before, the next step of the, whole, the flight would be the en route part. In the United States, we are separated into 21 different sectors or centers as pictured in the background. Each center is responsible for controlling inbound and outbound traffic. This means all traffic that passes through that sector. These centers are known as ARTCCs and they have full control over IFR flights while in the air and while in their sector. Some of the services of the ARTCC include, but are not limited to, issuing route assignments, um, verifying and assigning altitudes, providing traffic separation, furnishing vectors, um, issuing notices to airmen or NOTAMs, and providing current weather information uh, such as SIGMETs or weather advisories, and they do so much more than just those listed. The next step of the flight would be the descent and approach part. Usually, a plane will descend their approach with when they're within about 50 miles of the airport that is subject to change. At this point, TRACON centers again vector the airplanes into their specified approach types, practically the opposite of departure. However, TRACON centers are not responsible for landing the plane. Once the planes are in their approach path, they must switch over to local ATC frequency for landing instructions. And after going through all of the segments of air traffic control centers, thousands of flights are able to land safely every day due to the effectiveness of controllers around the world, whether they're in TRACON, local ATC towers, or wherever.